Hello guys, how are you? The Code Tooling is here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to resize bulk of images using PHP. If you find this video useful, hit the like and subscribe buttons and provide a nice comment. Okay, let's start. And I have created image resize folder and I have a folder dir1, which has subfolder dir2, which has subfolder dir3. And I have the same two images repeated three times in these folders. And I'm going to create script which reads the directory recursively and resizes that images. Okay, these images are really large with high resolution, like 200, 2800 and something. And this is also really large. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to create composer JSON file by running composer init. This will ask a couple of questions and I'm going to hit enter on all of these questions and simply generate the composer JSON file, which looks like this. And for this, for this project, we will need imagine package, which is PHP image manipulation package. And we need to install it with composer. So I'm going to copy and paste the following line. And instead of PHP composer far, I'm going to run it PHP. Uh, I'm going to run it without PHP because I have Composer globally installed and available. Composer require imagine slash imagine. And this will install the imagine uh, package. This will take a little bit of time and also have a look at the dependencies of this package. It uh, has dependency GD2 or Imagic or Gmagic. So in your, if you have like Windows, if you're a Windows user, uh, your XAMPP installation comes with GD. If you're a Linux or a Mac OS user, I think you will need to install that GD package by running like sudo optkit install on Ubuntu or the appropriate command on uh, Mac OS. But you need to have installed at least one image manipulation package and I, I'm using GD too. Okay, enough. And this package is already installed and that created that vendor folder. And now I'm going to create index.php file. And I'm going to require autoload from the vendor. And I'm going to, first of all, show how this works. So imagine equals new imagine from GD. And I'm going to open an image, open, and we need to open an image and let me copy this uh, Tesla model image right here. So I'm going to copy the name of the image. So we're going to open this and then, gonna, then we're going to run a uh, thumbnail and we need to give it a box like uh, 200 pixel on 200. And then we need to save this on the file system. Okay, so I'm going to give it a thumb underscore and the image name, whatever it is. Okay, and let's just save this right now and see that it works. Okay, here's the thumb and this is our resized image. Okay, that's it. Now we need to read the directory recursively and resize all the images in this D1 folder. Okay, I'm going to quickly search for PHP read directory recursively and have a look at the code. Here it is, I think. Uh, get dire contents, which accepts directory. It reads the directory, iterates over those uh, files inside the directory and checks if the file or folder inside the directory is not a directory, is not a folder, then it pushes in the results array. If it's a folder dot or double dot, it doesn't do anything. If it's a normal folder, then it calls that get dire contents recursively. We need that function. Okay. Uh, but we need to, I want to change my, uh, my code into object oriented way. Like I'm going to create class image resize, uh, create a constructor. And inside the constructor, I'm going to create an instance of this imagine. Okay. So I'm going to copy that. Put it right here. I'm going to declare a public property imagine. Okay. And here, this imagine equals new uh, imagine gd imagine. And right here, I need to create a function public function uh, resize 
all images which accepts a directory okay and inside the directory we need to resize all images so i'm going to copy that code and delete that function right here so this reads the directory as i said it does all the things but here instead of pushing this in the results uh, results array we need to resize image okay and here we need to call recursively this resize all images for the given path and we don't want that results array at all okay we don't return anything we don't want this one also here we need to resize but we also need to check if the current path is image maybe our folder recursively contains some of the files rather than image we need to check if it's an image or not uh, for this we have two options either we need to check it with mime type or we need to check it by extension so I'm going to do it by extension. So extension equals, I'm going to call path info. Uh, here I'm going to give path and I'm going to call file info extension. Okay, and this returns the file extension. And here I'm going to check if the extension is in array of JPG or PNG or JPG. We can also add here uh, GIF or things like that, but that's enough. So you get the idea, right? So, and this is the place where we're going to resize it. And I'm going to copy this code and replace this imaging with this imaging. Open. Here we give the path which we want to be opened. We resize it and then we want to save it. And here I'm going to save it back. In the same path okay I'm going to replace overwrite the original image with the resized one okay so here we have it and now after this we need to create create a resizer equals new image resizer and we're gonna give it here a folder name which we want to resize d1 for example um, no, actually, this needs to be given in the method. Resize all images, and here we give the directory. And th that, that should resize all the images, okay? Let's open the images. We see that it's it's high-resolution images, okay? Let's run php index php, and the image is still on high-resolution. Okay, so it didn't actually work. Okay, the mistake here is that in the path info, we need to give it path info extension okay and after doing this this should work it needs some time and then if we open that image we see that it's actually resized and the second image is also resized and let's have a look at the sub images they are also resized okay that's it guys i hope you enjoyed it if so hit the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next time